Hello students. Uh, for today's discussion on chemistry, I have taken a small topic pertaining to catalysis, a small reaction to emphasize the use of cat catalyst in chemical reactions. So here, our oxidant is peroxidisulfate and the reductant, the species which is going to get oxidized is iodide. Iodide is getting oxidized to iodine and peroxidisulfate is getting reduced to sulfate. This is the reaction I want to emphasize the use of catalyst in this reaction. Why do we require catalyst? Let's find out. See, this is a very powerful oxidizing agent. It is a peroxy compound and therefore is a very good oxidizing agent. Iodide is a reasonably good reducing agent. But still, the reaction is very slow. Although we are using very powerful oxidizing agent and a reasonably good reducing agent, but still this reaction is slow. First of all, we need to understand what makes this reaction slow why do we need a catalyst if the species carry the same charge? Both are negatively charged. So they tend to repel each other. Because they repel each other, the oxidizing agent is not capable of coming in contact with the reducing agent and that makes the reaction slow. In order to speed up this reaction, we need a catalyst. Look at the catalyst. Try to realize that the catalyst we are using is carrying positive charge. Our oxidant and reductant both are negatively charged. Look at the mechanism how ferrous or ferric will be helpful in this reaction. He is also an oxidizing agent, it tends to become ferrous. So ferric, it reacts with iodide, it oxidizes it to iodine and it itself gets reduced to ferrous. There is no problem as far as this reaction is concerned because the oxidant and reductant are carrying opposite charges so it is easy for them to come in contact and undergo the reaction. So once uh, iodide gets oxidized to iodine, it turns ferric into ferrous, yes. will come in contact with peroxidisulfate and it itself gets oxidized again to ferric and peroxidisulfate becomes sulfate. Now this ferric will not keep quiet, it will go back and again will do the same job of oxidizing iodide to iodine. So in this reaction, Fe oscillates between ferrous form and ferric form and when it is in the ferric form, it helps iodide and when it comes to ferrous form, it gets oxidized from peroxidized sulfate and converts into ferric again. So if you see the overall reaction, you have the peroxidized sulfate, uh, oxidizes iodide to iodine and it gets converted to sulfate. So in the overall reaction you don't see ferrous or ferric because it gets cancelled out. So in this reaction Fe is able to help as a catalyst because it is carrying positive charge and because it is capable of exhibiting two different oxidation states which are energetically similar. So this is a small case where I am emphasizing the use of catalyst in a redox reaction. If we don't, if you don't use catalyst, these two being of having same charge, they tend to repel each other and the activation energy will go up and the reaction becomes slow. So a positively charged species which is capable of exhibiting two different oxidation states will be helpful here as a catalyst. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully I'll make more such videos on small topics. Uh, kindly give your suggestions about this video and also give me suggestions about the topics you wish to listen on my channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot.